Nixon broke down and wept at the feet of Henry Kissinger. Nixon broke down and wept at the feet of Henry Kissinger. Nixon reportedly walked up and down the halls of the White House talking to pictures of former presidents. Nixon reportedly walked up and down the halls of the White House talking to pictures of former presidents. Nixon lost possession of the nuclear football without knowing it. One additional act that Schlesinger took upon himself was to tell the military not to follow any orders for a nuclear strike that Nixon might have issued. The president's aides and other government officials were so concerned that Nixon would use nuclear weapons that the president wasn't even in possession of the nuclear codes for football as it's known as he flew off on Air Force One. Nixon, with two hours left of his presidency on August 9, 1974, had unknowingly already handed them off to soon to be President Gerald Ford. The military stopped taking orders from Nixon. The military stopped taking orders from Nixon. Members of the government considered invoking the 25th Amendment. The 25th Amendment which was going to be used if and when Nixon resigned anyway, allows for the president to be replaced by the vice president in case of the removal of the president from office or of his death or resignation. The vice president shall become president. If the president is unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office, because Nixon's behavior was so erratic, advisors and members of Congress were concerned that they couldn't wait for Nixon to resign and might have to replace him with Vice President Gerald Ford because he had become unfit for office. Aides would often find Nixon drunk and playing music from his favorite 1950s documentary. Nixon loved to get drunk and play the music from Victory at Sea, a 26-part documentary about World War Roman II naval combat that was made in the 1950s. Nixon wasn't alone in enjoying the score from the series. The music, recorded by the NBC Symphony Orchestra, was critically acclaimed, as was the entire run of the series. When Nixon wasn't listening to Victory at Sea, he was busy listening to himself. Nixon was known to replay the tapes recorded in the Oval Office over and over again, especially the parts that were being used against him as his presidency crumbled. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care! Bye!